Welcome to another Phantom Review by me, Mikael. This time we're gonna look at the, this year's soft cover book. These usually got released uh, with the Gothenburg uh, Book Fair, but uh, yeah, it's already in my hand and it's not October yet. This year uh, it's uh, theme is the old jungle saying rough on roughnecks. In Swedish it's Hård mot dem hårda. And it is quite thick. A wonderful cover by Luca Arbata. I think it is one of his best. And the, as you see the spine looks matches up with the earlier ones. Quite good. I don't have all of them here. And it has several, several classic stories in black and white. Mine has some weird issue with the gluing on one side, but not on the other side, but uh, it seems like, I mean, the pages look, looks good and it flips well either way, so I'm not complaining yet. So let's go through it. So it has some forward by Andreas, then we have the slave slave market of Makar. It is the 80, 82nd uh, Phantom Daily Story, written by Lee Falk and drawn by Cyberry. And this is one of my favorite stories of all time. I read it many times, but maybe never as thoroughly as this time, uh, since I was proofreading. The, uh, this was Barry's first daily and one of his best. Uh, I find it kind of funny when the main villain repeating do not use my name even do, though they all do it all the time and the password to get into the city is his name spelled backwards so he's not really that incognito but yeah comes so, a uh, bit of a funny thing next story is let's see which page that is So we have a bit more editorial about Lignante and then we have uh, Queen Samaris the 12th by Lee Falk and Bill Lignante. Uh, this is the only Sunday story with art exclusively by Lignante. It is an enjoyable story uh, that has been remade twice, once for Gold Key and once by Tim Phantomen. Samaris is like the opposite of the Phantom. Instead of uh, living for a call to make life better for others, she only thinks about herself. And instead of teaching descendants to take up the call, she lives forever. Uh, but everyone thinks it's different women, and the phantom is the other way around. Until and that is until she gets uh, falls in love, of course. Next up, we have. Let's see here. Some more editorial about Cyberry and this beautiful. Uh, I think this is a newly drawn. Uh, commission piece. So and after that it is the story. The Golden Sands of Kilawi. This is the 69th. Phantom Sunday story. It was originally published in American newspaper from in 66 and 67, written by Falk and drawn by Barry. And this is the first occurrence of June Carr, Kilawi, and the Jade Hut. Makes this a really important story. The story in itself is great and takes place during the sixth Phantom which is one of the best, since he hangs around with Redbeard and Big Bart, The Crusher and Salla, which only showed up in this and the founding of the Jungle Patrol of, of the newspaper stories, but uh, have many more stories, but they were only written by Tim Phantomen, so not everyone recognized those. Then we have... The Lions of Kukan. Uh, that is the 70th San Phantom Sunday story and published in 67 
it was written by Falk and drawn by Barry. Also a good story about this mountain prince who has an elaborate idea on how to kill the phantom because he stops the native tribes from paying taxes. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. And then we have Jung Jungle Olympics and this is the one that is the 100th daily story written by Falk and drawn by Barry. Yet another great story. Could the name Jungle Olympics be the most common name of a phantom story? Because there are quite a few that is called that. Uh, and this is one of the better of those. And to top it off, another ed editorial piece written by Andreas Eriksson about sports or Olympic games. Yeah, and uh, that is a quick rundown of this amazing soft cover book. Thank you for listening and happy phantoming.